What's up, folks? Uh, I've been making some videos and stuff. I started this uh, deal making videos. I don't even know why. Some of I don't even remember the first one. Well, the first one was I was drunk. <laughs> and uh, I was in the mood to do something crazy. I made a video of a dog, my sister's dog. And I realized, I figured out how to work my phone with the video. And uh, it just one thing led to another. And now I've been making videos. And I've only been making them because I've been getting lots of messages from people that say they like them. That's really all the reason I keep making them. I didn't really think, I was just being stupid. And uh, it's kind of turning into a full time job. <laughs> So, um, I had a couple of people today send me two messages. Uh, I, I get them almost every day, and and a lot of them I don't respond to because I do get a lot of mess uh, private messages uh, about work and questions uh, and pricing and stuff like that. So you can bear with me; I'll get to them as soon as I can. But those messages were inspiring. And, uh, you know, they say, oh, I'm going to order something from you. After they say, I mean, I appreciate what you say in your videos and you're getting things out that I can't find the, or I can't put words to. They just make sense. Well, that's good. That's the only reason. I, I don't, I, I tell them, I don't want, I'm not doing these videos. For anybody's business, I really ain't. When I when I did these videos about the government, I just wanted to get more people involved, just to start thinking, and just to know what's going on, to ask questions and and think. And the more you get into that, the better it the better it is for you and everybody around you. Just so you know what's going on, because there's so much going on that we don't know about, and and that's kind of led into that. And then I'm really a kind of upset you know I, I get into the point where I think a lot I think so much and uh they're kind of my outlet and it kind of helps me if I get onto something that I'm thinking about or pisses me off or just appalls me or whatever I, I'll make a video on it or if I see something that bothers me I'll make a video but the messages that I got were inspiring because honestly when I, I make my videos, I don't tend to make want to make them very long. It just happens. And I don't have a script that I'm reading from. I tried that on one, and, and it took forever, too, because I was reading from the deal. But most of this is just straight off of my head. Whatever pops in my mind or whatever talking, it's hard. For, I can tend to jump from one thing to the next, but... Uh, some of the government videos, you know, those are the ones that are more important to me than anything. If if it just gets one person to start looking or thinking or asking questions, and it has, and that's great. You, I get disheartened because I think, man, I wish somebody would, uh, you know, comment or say something that they agree with me or they don't or... Uh, to let me know that I'm doing the right thing. I, in my heart, I think I'm doing the right thing. Um, and then, and then that now the the messages have came, and uh, they just out of the blue. And those are the ones that inspire me to keep doing it. If one person s sends me a message, that's great because that means. You know, and then the, they all, a bunch of people say, oh, I'm not planning on ordering something from you. But like I tell them, I'm not doing these videos for any business. It's strictly how I feel. And if it helps one person, then it, that 20 minutes of my time and my life is more valuable there than any money that I could make. I, that's how I feel about it, really. I just wanted to tell people that and everything so and that means a lot to me 
and as long as I've been on Facebook, I always wrote stuff on Facebook. Inspirational things. And a lot of times when I was mad or upset or, or really thought about things and they just tore me up, I would write them. And other people would tell me a lot of positive. I was searching for a lot of positive. I needed the positive. You have no idea how, at the time, the positiveness that I needed in my life. And the words and messages from people that said that I made them laugh or I inspired them helped me get through a lot of my own personal struggles in searching for things that I needed answers for that were never answered in certain areas, which always bothered me, and some still do to this day. But we're rolling along and we're getting better, but, uh, and I'm glad I helped somebody else during my struggles of learning, figure something else for themselves and build themselves up. I feel that that makes me feel good because I feel like I'm helping somebody, whatever it may be. So that was just, I just wanted to make this little video and, and just tell people I appreciate the comments and I appreciate everything. And I'll keep making as much as I can uh, the government videos or something that I really believe in and I, I want people to know and learn. I, I'm taking the time to do these things and I think it's very, very important to do. Especially these times and, and there's a lot of guys, you know, I'm, I'm going to be 37 this year. I'm old. But there's a lot of guys my age who really don't pay attention to this stuff. I mean, we are the next generation to be coming up. I mean, we're going to be old timers pretty soon, guys and girls. We've got to get on the ball. There's that's how I feel about it. <laughs> People are got, boys are calling me yes sir, and I've been waiting for that day for a long time. <laughs> All my yes sirs and yes ma'ams, no kids are saying yes sirs and no sirs to me. And I'm not going to be like that old man that says, don't call me, sir. Uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting for that. <laughs> Until I shave everything off and I look like I'm 22 again. And then, and then they'll be calling me, hey, brother. Or, hey, homie. Or, dude. <laughs> but that's good. So, anyways, I just thought I'd throw this out there and say thanks to everybody. And keep it positive. A lot of things in this world will bring you down. When they do, get away from whatever. Get away from it. Leave it alone. Run. Run from it. It will kill you. And, and these deals with the drama and the government makes it drama. You got to get away from it for a little bit, but you got to come back into it. I do it every day. I, I, the gun thing is really, really, really important to me. And I'm not an avid collector or uh, I'm not into all that shooting and the, I don't shoot regular and nothing like that. I just, I really am, I know the purpose of the Second Amendment and I'm, you know, I know all that history. So you're not gonna sway me in any form or fashion on that, ever. And and people need to understand that. It needs to, it's been drilled into my head and I understood it from a kid on up. And, and kids need to know that. And, and, and in, in all of your amendments, I don't know all the amendments, I need to go read them again, but there's one thing that brings people together and it's that second. Because they know, they know. If it's gone, you ain't got a first. Anyways, thought I'd throw that in there too. But don't let the vision of petty crap divide you. That is the key point because somebody will piss you off. 
over something that doesn't even have to do with the 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 goal is keeping the Second Amendment. You've got two people. One, both like and agree that we should keep our gun rights. But then this one will say something to this one about something just crazy. It doesn't mean on the topic. They may be two different people. But this one will say something and then piss this one off. And then this one will call this one stupid. And then they will be out of the picture. And then you still have one. Division is the stupid over petty crap. You got to leave that petty crap behind. I don't care if you're gay. It's you black, yellow, red, brown, blue, pink. Whatever nationality you are, you've got to put that crap aside. There's no time for that. That's petty. Everything, any other things are petty. Petty bull crap. And only cause division between the people who are joined together in a common goal. And that is what the government does and has done and been doing is dividing people. So, anyway. I'm going to cut it short. As short as I can. If, if they, people want me to keep them under five and I can't do that. You, you're limiting my freedom of speech. <laughs> Good night. Y'all bless.